MCB for you one chapter one introduction to calculus session one before beginning the chapter we review some concepts from previous courses determining the slope of a line m equals delta y over delta x rise over run determining the equation of a line using function notations for substituting into and evaluating functions, simplifying algebraic expressions, factoring expressions, finding the domain of functions, calculating average rate of change and the slopes of secant lines, estimating instantaneous rate of change and the slopes of tangent lines. The slope of the line passing through points A, X1, Y1, and b x2 y2 is delta y over delta x which is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 rise over run when x2 and x1 are not equal when x1 and x2 are equal m is undefined y equals mx plus b is slope y-intercept equation of the line slope intercept equation to find the slope we pick two points on the line let's say x and y intercept and we find rise over run y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1 is slope point equation of a line and ax plus by plus c equals 0 is standard form of the equation of a line a b and c are integers and a is positive in standard form in a standard form, slope is minus a over b, x-intercept is minus c over a and 0, and y-intercept is 0 and minus c over b. The vertical line passing through the point a and b is x equals a and the equation of horizontal line passing through p a and b is y equals b if from the left to right the line is rising slope is positive falling slope is negative if it is a flat line slope is zero and slope of a vertical line is undefined y equals f of x is function notation to find the value of the function when x is a we simply substitute x by a in the equation of the function a and f of a is a point on the graph of a function two things that you've learned from other courses simplifying algebraic expressions we usually use distributive law a times b plus c equals a b plus a c we know a b and b a are the same commutative law and a times b c is a b and c 
A, B, and C are algebraic expressions. The assumption is the viewer knows common factoring. Difference of squares. Factoring a quadratic trinomial factor by grouping. Knowing factor theorem. and sum and difference of cubes. Also, the viewer is familiar with expansion using binomial theorem. a plus b to the power of n is a n plus n a n minus one b plus n times n minus one divided by 2 times 1 a n minus 2 b2 plus n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 divided by 3 times 2 times 1 a to the power of n minus 3 b3 plus similar terms till we get to b to the power of n. Rate of change of a function y equals f of x over the interval a and b is called average rate of change of f of x and it's denoted by a rock of f of x when x is between a and b. It is f of b minus f of a divided by b minus a. If the graph of the function and interval a and b is given, the slope of the line joining the endpoints, the secant line, and average rate of change are the same. Notice that a is A and F of A, and B is B and F of B. The slope of the line passing through A and B is F of B minus F of A divided by B minus A. Estimating the instantaneous rate of change of Y equals F of X and X equals A. The rate of change of a function at the point is called instantaneous rate of change and it's denoted by i rock of f of x at x equals a which is the same as f of x minus f of a over x minus a approximately when x is close to a. Using this formula, we estimate the instantaneous rate of change of a function at a point. Next session, we are going to work on exercises in page 2 and 3 of the textbook, the Nelson textbook. Thanks for watching.